Hey Nail Techs, it's Jill Wright from NailTechEvent.com coming to you with a business tip, especially for newbies. You know how your clients get bogged down on choosing a color? Well, here's what I do, and I'm, I've been doing this 35 years, so this works for me. These are my three color wheels. On these, together, all of them, are 45 colors. If they cannot find a color they like amongst 45 colors, they're welcome to bring their own. I don't mind, not one bit. So what they do when they come in, they know I've got them trained, they go right to my sink, they wash their hands, then they go sit at my nail table while I'm washing my hands. While I, I'm washing my hands, these color wheels are out on my nail table. And as I'm washing, I say, okay, now check out those colors and narrow it down to your two favorites. And if you can't choose two, we can go with three, but that's it. Narrow it down to your three top, if two, if that's even better. So as they're doing that, I start working on one hand and their other hand is free. And so I suggest to them, pick up one of the wheels. If you see a color on it you like, hold it up against the back of your hand. You can see what this color is gonna look like against your skin tone. You'll get an idea of whether you like it or not. You don't have to push it on top of your nail. You can still see the color of your skin tone with this up against it. So while I'm working on the other hand, they are narrowing it down and they're like, they look on the back, the back has numbers of the colors so they're like oh i like number 22 okay well let's set 22 aside and then look at these any more on here yes i like this one and this one okay between this one and this one hold it up against their hand which do you like better so once you hold both of those up against their hand and they could see you know can't get that right they could see this the colors that they have chosen the two they're able to pick out which one they like better. Process of elimination, it makes things go really smooth quickly. So they're like, okay, I really don't like this one. I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, good, let's get rid of that wheel. So now between this one and the first wheel, this color and that color, number 22 and number, let's say 37, which one do you like better? And then they're like, well, I kind of leaning on that one. I go, yeah, me too. Always go with their first instinct is the best. Go, yeah, me too, that looks really good on you against your skin, let's do that. Okay, that's number 37. Then you get number 37 out and you put it on your station and you get rid of your color wheels. You hide them, get them out of the way. So that way they can't be second guessing their choice because as I'm working on them, you know, if you got these wheels laying out, they're starting to eyeball the colors, you know, and uh, then they start second guessing themselves. So anyway, that's what I do. And by keeping it at 45 colors, now you can do what works for you but I don't wanna tie up a lot of money of mine in a bunch of polishes that are just gonna be sitting on, see my shelf back there? They're just gonna be sitting on my shelf. That's all money, money tied up that I could be using for other things in my life. I could be putting it into investments. I could be saving it up to buy my own salon. You know what I'm saying? You could be saving it up for a vacation. You could be saving it up for whatever your kids need next. I've seen nail techs that have had 3,000 colors i'm like what the f like oh my i'm just appalled because when you look at it and you you break down the cost of each one of those that's thousands and thousands of dollars sitting on your walls that's not earning you any more money than if you have 45 or 50 or 70 colors. You see what I'm saying? Having more colors just confuses your clients and makes it dip more difficult for them to choose a color. And it ties up money that you could be using for other more important things than polish sitting on your walls. I hope that makes sense. Peace out.